Hi, I'm Talik Olestad. I was born in Alaska. I was raised in Seattle, Washington, and I lived for many years in Los Angeles. And I live in the, in the Netherlands now. I also live for a short time in Rome. And uh, I am a harmonica player, and though I play both blues and chromatic, I guess many people uh, know me for my chromatic harmonica playing uh, from various records I've played on and some television shows and different things like that. I would say kind of my very first break in the in the in showbiz with harmonica was playing the theme for a, a very a very well-known American television show called Northern Exposure, and that was in the 90s. And after that, that kind of put me on the map. And then I started to get little by little. It was a slow process, but I started to do some more and more uh, uh, sessions for, <clears throat> especially for artists' records. Uh, like in the beginning, it was some people like Richard Page and Gino Vanelli. And then uh, as time went on, uh, Dave Grusin and Don Grusin and uh, Earth, Wind and & Fire and Al Jarreau and Natalie Cole, um, Christopher Cross. Played live with, uh, uh, on television with uh, Don Henley and uh, also on a, a live special with uh, Andrea Bocelli in Las Vegas. Some that aren't as well known as well, but are still just some really, really wonderful artists and that I feel very blessed that I had the opportunity to play with. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about it that, I mean, blues to me is the roots of really most popular music and for me playing the two instruments playing blues and chromatic harmonica are, are like really different I mean they're almost they are both harmonicas but I mean it's almost like the difference between playing a, you know a clarinet and a saxophone or something I mean it's just there's they're very different approaches I mean and they're very different sounds and even though I, th I think absolutely the blues feeling is there in uh, in both uh, it just, it's expressed in a very different way. Yeah, it's, it's, I guess that's what I put it at. For me, blues harmonica in general has more of an organic, rougher feel, and chromatic harmonica to me has a more smoother, uh, a smoother feeling. In general, I would say playing live, there's there's nothing like that feeling, of course, to play in front of a live audience. At the same time, uh, I mean, some of my most memorable moments at, have been certainly in the studio, like looking through the, the recording glass, and there's you know Al Jarreau <laughs> looking out at me while I'm playing, or Maurice White from Earth, Wind, and Fire, and that's kind of it's a surreal feeling in a way as well because I listen to them I, you know I know their music from when I was growing up and, and learning music so those are really you know really great special moments Is, the, is there a lot of pressure to come in in a, in, a, in a major recording session after this track is completely finished and you're 
uh, you're the last thing or one of the very last things that's kind of like supposed to be the cherry on top of the, of the cake. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is definitely, absolutely it's pressure. Um, but I guess, yeah, I, I like that. I mean, for me, it's, it's kind of like, you know, I don't like bungee jumping, but that's my kind of musical bungee jumping. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, that's, yeah, I like, I love being in that situation. And, you know, it, it certainly brings out the best in you to be in those situations. So yeah, you're on the spot. And uh, that's, that can be nerve wracking for sure. And actually the, the thing I did with Andre Vicelli was, is, is even, was even a different thing, more nerve wracking in a way because I was on a stage that, where they were filming a DVD. So it was a live performance in front of a big audience and also being filmed. And so it was like, yeah, I mean, I had to walk out in the middle of the song. I just walked out on the stage and then I have to play the solo. <laughs> And if it doesn't go well, then uh, yeah, but you know, yeah, you don't, I guess, yeah, I don't, it's not that you don't think about it, but yeah, it's just, it's just, I guess it's a little bit of, of being kind of a thrill seeker and just wanting to be in that position to see how, how you do when you're under that kind of pressure. I, that's, that is a specific, I guess, kind of personality trait. Pretty amazing to me that you know Honer has been around for 150 years, and generally speaking, I think a lot of companies that have been around for a very long time they tend to not be the more forward-thinking companies. And it's amazing to me that I think Honer is doing the most cutting-edge stuff, bringing in Joe Felisco, uh, you know, as a as a designer and an engineer in the company was was really a brilliant move. And what he's done, I mean, it's like they're just state-of-the-art to me it's just like this is the Rolls-Royce I mean it's just it's such a great instrument and I really I've really been impressed you know there's there's this latest one that I've been using a lot is the uh, CX-12 and the, the CX-12 Jazz is a particular um, model that I use and, and that I think is also just a great sounding instrument and it's just yeah just some great engineering and just great forward thinking and great feedback between players and the engineers and the company and they really listen and they really support the artists and I think that's, yeah, it's really an amazing thing. And it's amazing how, in recent years, how seldom I really have to buy new harmonicas. And I play, and I really do play them hard. I bend them hard, I guess I, should, I, I really put a lot of stress on the reeds. And they just, yeah, they keep going. And it's, it's, it's pretty astounding to me. And yeah, I mean, it is, it's an interesting thing that they, they really, they have put a lot of uh, research and time into making the materials last longer. <laughs> it's probably not the, the best business model, although it is because it's like, yeah, I mean, their, their reputation really spreads that way that, yeah, more, more and more harmonic players go, well, yeah, that's the one you want to have that not only sounds great, that it's also just really well built and they last. And yeah, that's, that's uh, really, I appreciate that in the, in the company. In the end, really, I mean, the sound that comes out of an instrument really is, is from you. I mean, that's, I think with every instrument, you know, people sometimes spend too much time obsessing about the instrument and making, you know, trying to make it sound good when it's like really, so many great players played on really like cheap instruments and they just got wonderful sounds out of them. Um, but I mean, certainly no one, no one is going to, uh, uh, you know, refuse uh, an instrument that helps you to get there, you know, it helps you to 
uh, to, to uh, realize your sound.